So uh, some of you actually asked me, okay, wait, before that, I don't know how hell you can hear me, but actually some of you did ask me, uh, how do I train and maintain fitness and, you know, how do I climb Paris, the speed that I do, blah, 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 blah. There was some question asked, lah. So, <laughs> go. So, um, where, huh? <laughs> so anyway, um, going back to the question, I think you probably I'm probably the last person you need to ask how to be good at cycling because to be honest there are so much people that's better than me right I'm nowhere near as fit as some of my friends who can climb Perez so uh, Elias actually told me right that if you climb Perez below 30 minutes it's very respectable already so my Perez PR was 28 minutes which is good right but his uh, pe uh, Elias PR was 25 minutes. I'm sure some of you can do it like sub 20 minutes as well. Uh, for me, my fastest PR for Perez is 28 minutes, which is not as fast as I got. I mean, I'm not that light. Lah, right? So anyway, so this is how I maintain my fitness. How do I train? Okay, um, but my advice for you is don't do what I do because there are much better ways of doing it. The only reason why I train like how I train now, which I'm going to tell you later is because I find that if uh, I'm not, I want, I don't want to be super fast, you know, I'm not chasing for the next PR. I just want to maintain my fitness that I can cycle with my friends and my buddies and I don't get dropped so often lah, right? But uh, again, like I said, don't, don't, wait, where are I'm doing a recording. So don't, 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 pro probably don't follow how I train. Uh, if you want to have very good training method, there are apps like Trainer Road, there are apps like uh, Zwift, right? But I recently unsubscribed Zwift because I noticed when I'm doing Zwift, huh? uh, when I'm doing Zwift, I noticed that I'm watching Netflix more than I'm actually doing Zwift. So it's probably not the best uh, advice I can give you. Uh, so anyway, before I go on to my training, how I do my training, see how my setup is. Lah. It's actually very simple. I used to do Zwift here, yeah? right? But now I watch Netflix and I just use my Wahoo. So let me turn on my Wahoo and show you how I do it. But before that, um, I have fan. Of course, audio, uh, audio, open my headphones, as well as uh, now I'm setting up the camera. I've got fan here, power, my bike. I'm using the Elite Suito. Uh, sorry, I'm using the Elite Suito. Uh, so it's a, it's a pretty simple, straightforward setup. Uh. Right, uh, then, okay, uh, so going to this one. So let me turn on my sweet door first. Uh, so recently, uh, let me just carry on this. I got a parcel. Uh, it's from, I, th I, I think it's from Olight. So Olight contacted me and told me that they wanted to let me try a, a backlight. So, so since I have two, I only need one backlight. I think I'll give this away to one of you. So, if one of you want to win this OLED backlight, right, uh, check out my tomorrow's vlog. Today is Saturday, tomorrow I'm cycling. Uh, so, check out my tomorrow's vlog. I'll tell you how you can win this backlight. Okay, but I'm going to open one, which is mine. This one will be for you. Thank you, OLED, OLED Malaysia, and OLED uh, Asia Pacific for sending me the lights. Uh, let me just do a quick unboxing. Packaging is really simple, uh, pretty really straightforward. Not much to it. The light itself. Oh, okay, the light is quite very arrow. It's lovely, but the light is not nice. Nice. There you go. Wow, brightness. Great. Uh, I'll, I'll do more video shoot on the tomorrow's ride, I'll uh, show you. Okay, and this is how you take it out. The micro USB and charge it. Okay, so I'm gonna mount this on my bike later. Lah. So this is the Olight. Thank you, Olight Asia, for sending me this. And one of you gonna win this. I think it retails about 70 or ringgit or 73 ringgit. And there's a flash sale coming up. So I'll put the description at the, at the below when the flash sale is happening. Uh, which is I think up to 30% discount or something like that. So check out the description below. But thank you, Olight, for sending me this. Um, one of you can win this, huh? check out tomorrow's vlog. Okay, so back to my, back, back to my training, uh, how, how, I, how I train. So yeah, so I have 
I do use a headphone. Uh, so this earphone, if you're wondering, is, uh, is a brand called Infinity. Uh. So this Infinity headphone is what I'm using right now. Uh, I think it retails about 159. Uh. Using the Infinity Trend 700 and this, uh, it retails at 100 and, uh, 159 ringgit, which I think is a very good value uh, for being it so affordable. So uh, to be fair, I mean to be honest, I work in, in, in this company which distributes it. So I'm using the headphone right now and I like it because it's cheap, 159 ringgit. And it's a reputable brand, Infinity, uh, owned by Harman. So yeah, this is the headphone I'm using. Uh, and if you're wondering how I set up my, my, my cycling place, right? So let me show you. Let me do a quick show. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm using my Wahoo right now. So if you go to Wahoo, you click on this button here, right? There's one thing called plan worked out. So plan workouts, I normally will select this and it, con it is connected to my Elite Suito, my smart trainer. So they can do FTP tests, blah, 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 blah. So normally I do climbing session or mix session. Or if I have no time, I do sprint session. So right now I want to do a quick ride. So I'll probably just do a quick, simple uh, sprint session. Because I want to go for breakfast. So once I select it, then you can see it'll show you the graph and everything. So, so the reason why I, I, I unsubscribe to Zwift is because nowadays I just use my Wahoo and I, I write simple or I just do zone 2. So normally how I train is, I try to commit at least 2, two to 3 times a week of indoor cycling. Either indoor or outdoor. Near my house, you know, you notice I sometimes you look at my Strava, I do some sprint climb, right? That's very effective for me because for about 45 minutes, I feel that I get such a good workout that I can't even stand anymore. So I know that I have a good workout. Uh, so that's a very good interval training. Uh, but one of the best ways uh, to train, I feel a lot of people say, you know, do hit, do interval, this and that. But I also learned something from Marcus, uh, the, the, the crazy Ironman or that super runner. I don't know how to pronounce that word. He has done so many amazing achievements. I, re I really respect Marcus. So Marcus told me, all he does is cycle at least once to twice a day indoor and he cycles for about one hour at zone 2. Zone 2 meaning your heart rate is probably around 120-130. So it's very santai but that's what he does and what I read is zone 2 is the best place to burn your fat, <laughs> fat burning zone. So he, he does that uh, and it's good enough for him, I guess it's good enough for me. So nowadays, I really santai in my training, I just do it more frequency and I just watch Netflix. So Netflix is my buddy. Like. Yeah, so that's how I train. So today, I'm still thinking whether should I do the the the, the, Yao, the Wahoo uh, intervals and stuff or should I just santai? I think I'll probably santai because tomorrow we're doing a long ride. So yeah, so this is how I train. I do it at least two to three times a week before my Sunday ride, which helps me a lot to 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 ride with my gang and to do those 100km rides. Again, there are many better coaches and trainers out there, but I believe in one thing. Uh, if you are like me and I'm very lazy to go all out and just go bonk every time I train, I find it so hard to motivate the next day to train again and train again. So what I do is instead of doing all out training because my body is just so lazy, <laughs> you see me, you see me, you know that, right? So I rather just do a santai ride as long as I ride, but I do push a bit. So Sometimes I wake up, I don't even want to write. But like th this morning, Saturday, I didn't want to write because uh, over the week I've been playing a lot of badminton and also uh, uh, I also cycled on Wednesday. I did a 50km uh, Wahoo training session. And after that, honestly, today I didn't want to write. But I thought, okay, la, I'll just do a Santai 30 minutes, 50 minutes. Better than not doing at all. La. So yeah, that's how I motivate myself. Just get my ass off my bed and just do it. So right now I'm going to watch some Netflix and I'm going to write for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, see how to feel. And I also want to go down that stairs and have breakfast soon. So, so that's all for a very simple video. So again, check out this uh, Olight that's going to come to you. Uh, one lucky winner will be chosen to win an Olight worth 70 ringgit. I think you'll like that, right? <laughs> who wouldn't who would want free stuff? And also do note that the winners are picked randomly, okay? I do not have any favoritism to any of you. Okay, if you did not win, please don't come messaging me, hey, let me win. It's all randomly picked, I'm very fair one, okay? So don't, 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 no. By chit-chatting with me a lot, I mean, I appreciate your friendship. Honestly, I appreciate and I really cherish the friendship that I have with some of the subscribers and some of you. I really love all of you. But again, uh, I do not pick 
people based on my favoritism because it has to be a contest and a lucky draw okay so check out tomorrow i'll let you know how you can win this right now i, I really want to do my my session really anyway. don't catch on me don't catch on me okay one thing i oh, uh, one thing i learned also from the wahoo i can actually select the level of uh resistant i want my trainer to have so this is now connected to my wahoo lah. i mean to my elite suito so i can select the resistant target ward your know, 180 will be good i want to sustain at least 180 and santai lah. Uh, santai 10 minutes already so i think I think not enough rest or so. Sometimes resting is very important during rides. So, wait, let me wash my, off my Netflix. Ah, 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 okay. Ah. So, yeah, I'm supposed to Santa, I'm not supposed to do interval, sorry. I got distracted with the wahoo. Uh, okay, so what I'm saying is, well, uh, so doing at least midweek cycling will help definitely on your fitness. Uh, then, some of you ask how to prevent cramp while cycling. Uh, for me, I don't know, because I always cramp. But what I do is, I will actually uh, drink a lot of water throughout the week. I feel that a hydrated body really helps on your long rides. So drink a lot of water, especially three days before your ride. Make sure you pee, your, your pee is clear and there's no substitute for training. You just have to do indoor training. Either indoor or midweek. Take your bicycle, go outside and ride around the Taman for one hour. It helps a lot. So, that's basically what I do. Uh, and during your ride also drink a lot of water. The rule of thumb is at least 500 ml of water every hour or about one bottle an hour. And for me, salt stick helps a lot. So during longer rides or when I feel my fitness is really bad, I will actually, oh, why again? There are 10 minutes, 10 seconds free. So anyway, I'm still be doing it all. So then, Drink a lot of water, salt stick helps. Um, that's about it. That's really no secret in doing long rides. Ugh. Frequent riding, I think, is the only way. Frequent riding. So at least commit once or twice midweek cycling. I know I'm repeating myself. Don't forget, tomorrow I will tell you how you can win an all night. So, <coughs> let me continue. Already 13 minutes already. <coughs> okay, another three more minutes. We are ready. Let's do it, Edmonton. Today, very tired. But you get the idea. No matter what also, you need to squeeze in your mid-week ride. And this is so mean I second mid-week ride, we managed to do three. But two is enough, I guess. Again, I'm not a fitness coach. I am not a cycling coach. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I think as long as my body feels the pain and I'm tired and I got do, and I'm not sitting around, watching TV, eating potato chips. I can, I should be okay. But later today, definitely I want to sit around eat potato chips. I have enough exercise for this week already. So, see you tomorrow guys. 
I got another two more minutes to just cool down. Today, 30 minutes is enough. Uh, so just want to move the body and leg, you know, and watch some Netflix, watching Cobra Kai. Uh, see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Remember, check out the giveaway tomorrow. Go like. Uh, last one minute push. See if I can sustain 300 or 280 watts. Uh, uh, okay, let's do it. At least 300 watts. Uh, one minute. Ah, 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 so opening up the box, uh, let's see what the box comes with. Huh? Comes with the rubber strap to strap to your seat post, charging cable. Okay, so one rubber strap. I think I have one comment for Olight. I think your rubber strap is not big enough for aero seat post. So I'm not too sure whether it's this good for aero seat post. Let me see if it is. There you go. Done. But still, generally, uh, old lights rubber needs to be bigger. Definitely can't fit for Erosy Post. So that's it for today. I just did 30 minutes indoor. I'm going to go for breakfast now. Peace. Old light semi 30 real light. Okay. So. This old light semi real light that when I was using the uh, yeah. standard rubber that comes with it, I can actually stretch it to my arrow arrow seat post, but it was pretty stretched. Uh. So probably uh, it would be better if all light give uh, maybe at least one cm longer, so that we can stretch it to our arrow seat post. Uh, Plus than that, um, so let me read out the key spec for it, okay? USB rechargeable, lightweight, yeah, lightweight. The thing is about 20 plus grams only. Uh, it has this transparent optic lens, providing a soft and uniform beam for comfortable use and enhanced visibility. Also features versatile rubber band for secure mount and multiple carrying option, making real light convenient to take with you everywhere. So I'm gonna show you me mounting this into my arrow seat post. Cause I think a lot of you nowadays might have arrow seat posts, so let me just show you. So at least you know what you're getting yourself into. So this is the removal rubber one. Uh. So you remove it to charge it, micro USB. There's a light sensor somewhere, I noticed. So the light, so it's a smart light to a certain extent, uh, but there's no uh, gyro for it. But for 70 old ringgit, not bad uh, with a light sensor and all. So it will adjust based on the environment light, so it, it will know how bright it needs to be. So let me just strap it in. Really stretch it. So, so you can see it's still it's still mountable with the current rubber strap. Uh, by, but it's definitely stretched. Look at it, it's a white color now. Looks looks nice, uh. Looks very arrow and all. So I'll be using this light tomorrow. Thank you again, Olight, for sending me this. Um so I'm uh, giving away this all like so check out the video tomorrow and I'll let you know how you can win this share like subscribe don't forget <laughs>